Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Eric from the team at Pangolin. Today we're going through how to buy SGB on a centralized exchange. Today we're going to use Kraken. So there's two ways you can buy Songbird on here. You can either use this simple buy crypto or you can go to the trading platform for a more advanced experience. We're just going to use the simple one today to make it as easy as possible. So just click get started in here and then you can type in SGB. Take you straight to Songbird. And I've already got my bank account linked up here. When you create a Kraken account, it'll make you put in a funding source. So I've got this uh, banking account. You can see I'm going to click $20 to make it easy, but you can type in whatever you want. You would want there. Uh, and then it'll give you a, the amount that you're spending, the fees, and it'll give you a breakdown. The Kraken fee goes directly to Kraken for providing the service and then processing fee is something related to a gas fee. Click confirm and it'll send your order. And then you should get this success screen that says you successfully bought 1000 SGB. Cool. If we just hit refresh and then it'll show us right here in the simple dashboard that we have 1000 songbird and some change for $19.50. So that's how you buy it. Pretty easy. Um, if you want to send it out, you can go to funding. So I've got a few other transactions here, but if you scroll down and go to songbird, there is an arrow right here at actions with withdrawal. You can click that. What you want to do is have a, a songbird address that you add in. The way that you would find that is if I was to go to my MetaMask account over here, and copy my wallet address, and then you would just add a withdrawal address. So you give it a name, you paste in there. Um, if we're sending out, it's a pretty good practice to send a small amount at first. So let's only send there's a minimum withdrawal of one. So let's just withdraw, let's do 1.1. And it'll give you the withdrawal amount, the fee amount, and a net total. You can click that there. And withdrawal successfully submitted. So over here in the recent transactions, you can see the amount that we're sending over. And then we'll just want to make sure that that lands in our wallet before we go and send a bunch more money and just in case there's any sort of typos. So status says initiated. We'll wait here. It can take up to you know five to ten minutes for it to go fully successful. So I'll come back. Cool. We can see the status has moved to success for that one SGP we were sending. Uh, it took about five minutes for that to happen. So now we can go check over in our account. Boom. And that one SGB has landed. So that means that we are good to withdraw more. I'm going to hit 100% here. And then uh, it's already connected to the same withdrawal address, so we don't need to worry there. And check the breakdown. It's always important to note the fee amount. It will change the amount of SGB you receive. So now we click that. We'll wait for it to show up in recent transactions, and then we'll probably wait about five minutes for it to show up in our wallet. All right, so that took about four minutes. You can see here that the there's success status for 999 SGB. So if we go back to our main wallet, boom, it's all there. So that's the basics of how you send from a centralized to a decentralized exchange. Now I can show you how to send back from your MetaMask to the centralized exchange. So if we go back to this funding dashboard uh, and toggle over to deposit here. So if you don't have a deposit address, it'll have you make one. I've already made one before, so I'm just going to copy this. And then we'll do the same thing we did last time, where we start off by just sending, we'll do 1.5 this time. Hit next, it'll ask you or ask you to confirm the gas fee, and we'll hit confirm. And now we can see that that transaction has gone all the way through. So we'll head back here and wait for in the recent transactions, it'll show up as a deposit. It can take a minute or two. Centralized exchanges tend to be a little slower than things on chain. It's one of the reasons we love DeFi. All right, so it took about three minutes, but we can see here the status says success and we deposited 1.49 SGB. The reason it's not one exactly 1 1.5 is because a little bit came out for gas. But we know that address works now, so we can go back and you can either, it's here in the recents, that's an easy way to click it. Um, and then at 998, I'll save a little gas in here. So let's just do 995 and check the gas fee, hit confirm. And we'll go through that same process again to get the rest of it back on the exchange. So once we can see the transaction's been sent, we can go back 
And in our recent transactions, we'll see status confirming the amount we sent. Uh, it may take up to three to five minutes for that to fully go successful. Awesome. Now that we see that the status has changed to success, we can head back if we want to sell it into Fiat. We'll go back to the simple swap and hit sell. We can do max. And then it'll give you the amount, the fee breakdown again, and the total amount. Click confirm and it'll send your order. Boom. And we've successfully sold 996 SGB. Now you'll see that it shows up as cash in your account and it doesn't automatically go back to your bank. If you want to send it to your bank, you'll go back to funding. You'll see that uh, it'll say US dollar spot here and you'll go and hit this arrow. I'm not going to go in there because it shows some of my bank account information, but you'll just go in there and then you can withdraw directly to your bank account. And that's the basics of how you buy, send, and sell uh, SGB through a centralized exchange. If it's your first time doing it, there might be a 72 hour delay between when you buy and can withdraw. Just be aware of that. If you have any questions, you can always pop in our Discord. And if you enjoyed this tutorial, you can subscribe to our channel. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.